weeknights at 5. Welcome back to CBS 12 News at 11. Incredible videos of stroke patients who couldn't walk on their own and now walk unassisted. A doctor who just opened a practice here in Palm Beach County says he has developed a stroke breakthrough and local stroke victims are flocking to him. CBS 12's Suzanne Boyd finds out what this breakthrough treatment is all about. <laughs> It is reactions like this that had us very intrigued about what was going on in the Boca Raton offices of Dr. Edward Tobinick. Yes. <laughs> Some are calling it a miracle. Dr. Tobinick says it's a stroke breakthrough. This is a new discovery in medicine. It, it's going to rewrite the textbooks. Uh, brain physiology. Meet a Greenberg. The 81-year-old Boca Raton yeah. woman had a stroke 10 years ago, affecting her speech and her ability to walk. I was a, a vegetable, really. Oh, I just sat in my recliner and watched TV. All day. All day. Norma's son, a doctor himself, heard a radio ad for Dr. Tobinick's stroke breakthrough a few weeks ago and was intrigued but never imagined it would work. How could it work? It, there was no way this could work, but I had nothing to lose. She had nothing to lose. Dr. Tobinick injected Etanercept, the generic of Enbrel, into the back of Norma's neck above her spine. This drug is FDA approved, but not for this use. It's normally used to treat rheumatoid arthritis and psoriasis. But Dr. Tobinick has patented a new use for Etanercept in patients who have disorders involving brain inflammation, like sciatica, Alzheimer's, and stroke. We saw these remarkable responses where patients got better within a few minutes. Norma says that's what happened to her. Dr. Tobinick's staff recorded this video. What's different? I can walk. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like a different person. Minutes after the injection, Norma was able to walk to her son without a walker, she says, for the first time in 10 years. The look on her face was like a one-year-old learning to walk for the first time. My first reaction was obviously that I thought it sounded almost too good to be true. Dr. Niels mueller Kronost is a neurologist at Delray Medical Center and the stroke director for Tenet Hospitals in South Florida. He says Dr. Tobinick's work concerns him for several reasons. Is it safe? And is it only working because both the patient and the doctor really want it to work? If both the patient and both the physician are convinced that the treatment works, there's a placebo effect that has to be blinded. It's impossible to um, ascribe the results that we see to the placebo effect. Dr. Tobinick points to this double-blind clinical trial on his treatment, but it was done on sciatica patients, patients with spine disease, not stroke patients. The only studies done on those suffering from stroke were done by Dr. Tobinick himself, which Dr. Mueller says presents a bias. If we're convinced that this drug works, we should do the trials and we should go through it and we should be very open about who stands to gain when the trial is positive or not. We're trained to be skeptical. That's the natural response of a doctor is to be skeptical to a new discovery. It needs to be confirmed. Each injection costs about $4,000 and it's not covered by insurance. Dr. Tobinick says stroke patients typically need two injections, but he's only been treating stroke patients for about five months. So will the shots last six months, a year, longer? doesn't matter to Norma. She's better now. And she and her family say it was worth it, no matter the cost. I would have paid $25,000 for this, really. It's a difficult thing to convince people, and I don't need to convince them. I, I really don't. But I think the public needs to see this story because we have nothing to offer stroke patients. And this is something. This is something huge. Now, Dr. Tobinick just opened his practice here in South Florida. He's been treating Alzheimer's and sciatica patients with Etanercept for years at his practice in California. 
Now, in 2001, he did get into some trouble with the California Medical Board for advertising etanercept for sciatica before he actually had a study published on it. There is now a double-blind clinical trial on that treatment, and he never lost his license over that. Dr. Tobinick says because this drug is FDA-approved, it is proven safe. He says he's treated four dozen stroke patients so far, and none have had any serious reaction to the treatment. Now, to read more about this treatment and the studies that have been done on it, just go to cbs12.com slash links. Suzanne Boyd, CBS 12 News. And Suzanne adds that Dr. Tobinick says he does plan to take this into clinical trials. The problem is getting the financial backing to do that, because in clinical trials, trials doctors are required to give the treatment to